Hey everyone, in this screencast I'm going to show you two ways of using the Word Publish option in Articulate Storyline. And the first way is using it as part of the development process of a module. So here's a little three slide demo module that I've put together. Um, and if I jump over into slide view I've just got a, an intro slide. I've used the notes panel uh, to put a little bit of aud my audio text that would be on that slide. And I just have a menu one and a little, another little bit of audio and then a, a quizzing slide just to show you um, how, that, how that one looks. And I'm assuming that this is the first version of the course and I, and I want to send it for review. Now I would still publish out this course to the LMS or Articulate TempShare so that the reviewer has a functioning version of the course to, to look at but by doing it to Word as well, we can actually provide them with um, a document that they can add their feedback to um, about each slide and each layer. So I'll show you how we how that looks and how we put that together. So I'm going to go over to the Publish option, and from all of our publishing options, I'm going to choose the Word option at the bottom. And there's a couple of things here. We have a title now. It just picks up on the the title, the file name of the course but I could change it to what the course is about. Then we have the folder where the, the Word version is going to be saved to. So by default it's going to save to your My Articulate Projects folder, but you can change that and save it somewhere else. Then you have the option of showing layers in your course and slide notes. Now I've got layers and slide notes in this particular course, so I'm going to leave those two boxes ticked because then they will print out uh, in the Word version as well. And then we have the screenshot size of medium or large. Now for this type of word publishing I just use medium because I find that the size of the slide works okay. Um, I'm going to show you the large version a bit later on. But that's essentially it. That's all you need to do. And then click on the publish button. And the course will publish out. Now when it publishes what it's actually going to do is create a screenshot or uh, an image of all of the, the base layers and the slide layers and display them in, in one document. So if I click now on view document we'll see what it actually looks like. So I've got uh, our little Word document here and you can see what it's done. It's picked up on the, the title of the project then it picks up on the scene names and the slide name. So this is a, a reason why it's important to name all of your slides and scenes so that, again, if you're doing this, it will pick up on it. And see how it's created a word, uh, sorry, an image of my first slide. Because I left the notes panel selected um, as, as to include that in the publish, it's also showing my, um, what's going to be my audio text, so that can get reviewed as well and I just go through and we see the menu slide and the notes and then we start to see the different slide layers so the topic one slide layer and so on and so on so if, if I send this uh, to the reviewer or reviewers along with a link to the functioning course they can actually go through on each slide do the functioning version and then add any feedback or comments to this Word version and then you can access that and they can send that back to you and you can go through and, and incorporate any feedback or changes into the module. When you get down to question slides, again it takes a screenshot of the slide but it also in this table shows us what our choices are and which is the, um, the correct and incorrect ones. Uh, we can see the different slide layers um, and, and so on and so on. So it'll do that for every slide in our course. So a handy way of of, of helping out when you're doing those reviews and uh, going through those review cycles. One thing it, that it, it doesn't do though is if you've used markers in your course it doesn't show the markers in the open position. Um, they just look at like the little, uh, you just see the, the little markers on, on the slides. But for most other things it will show everything uh, as an image. Now another way of um, using um, uh, the word publish option is if you were doing screencasting. So here's a sc little screencast I made. It's a very simple one, just adding a, a shape into a PowerPoint slide. And all I've done is I've inserted that screencast in the um, uh, step-by-step, -step and I've selected the view mode. 
and when you do that, um, if you haven't uh, done that before, it will insert uh, a slide uh, into your course every time you click uh, on the screen and it also creates these little captions here. Now I have gone in and I have changed the colour and adjusted the wording slightly but essentially I have four little steps in my in my course and I have um, uh, instructions on how to do that. Now that could be fine, you, you could be happy with that, just again publish it the normal way, put it on your LMS or, or um, you know your web server and people could go in and watch the demo um, and, and, and learn how to do a particular task in a piece of software but if I choose the publish option again and again I, I can change the title I've got the location where it's going to be published to um, I don't have any uh, layers or notes in this particular project so I'm going to deselect those and this time I am going to choose the large slide option uh, just to make them display a little bit bigger. I probably will resize them but I find that if you print, if you publish medium and try to make them bigger the quality isn't as good. I find it's better if you need to use the slides to actually um, see what's going on a little clearly. Go large and make them small, a bit smaller if you need to. And then I'll hit the publish button once I've chosen those options and again it will publish out the course. And if I view this document now what I have is, I have a, it's printed out a screenshot of every, of every slide, so my four steps, but now what I, pretend, what I essentially have is a step-by-step -step instruction guide based on those screenshots, because all of my screenshots are nice and big, I can see what's going on, I can see the, um, uh, the little captions on each of the slides that gives the user uh, the direction as to what they need to do. Now you could go one step further and I've actually done a version where I've tidied it up a little bit, um, got rid of the scene and slide names, just given it a title and then um, you can still make out the tabs, uh, the instructions on the tabs, so I've just changed the, the slide names to step one, step two and I've made the, um, the, the screenshots a little bit smaller just so that I can fit two on a page but you could format them out however you like but now I have a little two-page quick reference guide on how to insert a shape into to PowerPoint or whatever the software uh, is that I'm using. So there you have it, two ways of using the word publish option in Storyline, publishing out to give to a reviewer to that they can add something they can add their feedback to and also creating a step-by-step -step instruction guide for your software simulations. That's it and I'll see you next time.